Time now for the evening rush. Police are searching for a man accused of shooting someone in a car wash. Jared Olguin is facing a murder charge after this shooting at a car wash near San Mateo and Marble earlier this month. Police say twin brothers were walking past that car wash when two men tried to pick a fight with them. They say Olguin pulled out a gun and shot toward the twins, killing Matthew Shaw. We're learning the man arrested in connection with the vehicle that may be involved in a deadly hit and run has had a lot of arrests. Juan Carlos Ramirez has been arrested nine times in three years and got a lot of breaks in court. The search warrant for his latest arrest for a truck theft names him as a person of interest in a vehicular homicide case. APD will not confirm if this is the same incident that killed 15 year old Manny Tapia at Coors and Ellison. University of New Mexico students are facing charges in an international fishing scheme. The indictment alleges that from 2013 to 14, Samantha Almodovar and another student who is unnamed worked with other hackers to send phishing emails to employees from at least 15 schools asking for personal information. We're learning bizarre plans Jeffrey Epstein had for his New Mexico ranch. According to the New York Times, Epstein wanted to use the Zorro Ranch in Santa Fe County as a base where women would become pregnant with his children. The report says he was fascinated with gene altering and, quote, improving the human population through science. Epstein pleaded not guilty to charges of sex crimes against minors. Your weather headlines for the first day of August. More storms for the west and the mountains here. Spot showers will be possible in the metro, but the overall trend looks very good for widespread storms by the weekend. A serial child rapist will be spending 16 years behind bars. Edward Sabata was convicted of raping a 16-year-old girl in her car in the Cottonwood Mall parking lot in April of 2018. At the time, Sabata was on parole for other sex-related crimes. Today, the judge sentenced Sabata to the maximum. New video of a deadly crash along I-40 shows the dangers of driving through a construction zone on the highway. You can see a semi-truck crash into a parked tractor trailer along I-40 east of Gallup, killing the driver of the semi. State police say the trailer was stopped because of construction. DOT asked people to keep an eye out for construction signs. The city of Albuquerque is continuing to spray after confirming mosquitoes carrying West Nile virus were found in Bernalillo County. The Environment, Environmental Health Department says the mosquitoes were discovered along the Bosque, and they say if you find standing water or mosquito problems in your area, call 311. U.S. Representative Xochitl Torres Small is ahead in the race for CD2. Torres Small has raised more than a million dollars during her first six months in office. Republican Yvette Harrell, who lost to Torres in a close battle, has raised about $300,000. For the first time since the 2008 financial crisis, the Fed has decided to cut interest rates by a quarter point. The rate cut makes borrowing less costly for businesses and consumers and in turn encourages spending. $250,000 approved by City Council for asylum seekers remains untouched. Officials say changing policies have reduced the number of migrants needing temporary shelter in the Duke City. The city's Office of Immigrants and Refugee Affairs says the city never used temporary shelters set up at Expo New Mexico. Nine more presidential contenders taking the stage tonight in the Democratic debate. All eyes are on former Vice President Joe Biden, who will be between his two fiercest critics in this party's 2020 primary field, California Senator Kamala Harris and New Jersey Senator Cory Booker. Right now, polls show Biden still in the lead. Well, your Metro Threat Index for tomorrow does go up a little bit. We're up to a three. It's still going to be warm across the area here, but we start to increase that chance at spot storms. The state is encouraging people to pay their child support this month. During the month of August, parents who have been issued a bench warrant because of unpaid child support will be able to go into one of the 14 child support offices and settle the bond without fear of arrest. The Department of Public Safety hoping to have some major upgrades completed by 2021. The agency says their current facility in Santa Fe was built in 1969 and they are outgrowing it. Now they want to add another uh, on, on to their main headquarters, rather, and renovate and expand the forensics lab there. The cost, $3.3 million. Scientists plan to continue sifting through the remnants of Berlin's first Catholic church next year. A series of floods destroyed the church, and it was buried 150 years ago. Dr. Ventura Pettis is working along with several professors from universities across the country to protect artifacts and those who were buried at the church. Local first responders now have a new drone to help them respond to emergencies. 
Officials ceremoniously signed the drone's fuselage at a special event today in Albuquerque. They say the drone will be used to give crews a better view of forest fires, floods, and will also help in search and rescue missions. Right now, the city is holding a school supply drive and is encouraging you to donate. For most students, school begins on August 12th, and many will need school supplies. You can donate supplies to City Hall or at APD substations across the city. The last day to make a donation is August 7th. Roswell police and fire crews are battling it out for blood. The annual battle of the Badges Blood Drive is taking place in Roswell this Thursday and Friday. By talent providers will be at the Roswell Chamber of Commerce both days as part of this friendly battle. Everyone who gives blood will be asked which agency they want to give credit to for their donation.